Okay, family, friends, and bushcraft buddies, truck driving buddies, or whoever may be watching this, I'm going to show you another recipe that I have here that I like using in the truck. This is meatballs, okay? The frozen meatballs like you buy at any of the grocery stores. And uh, I like the Italian meatballs. What I do with these, I've got probably two and a half hours until I drop. I'm in the semi, I'm in Clarksville, Tennessee, and I got about two and a half hours till I get to Lebanon where I can get in there and drop. So I'm going to be cooking this stuff in a crock pot, probably on high for, you know, a, a couple hours, two and a half hours, whatever it takes me to get there. I'll cook it on high and if it looks like it's getting done, I'll turn it down on low. And I'll set it between the seats like I always do. But this here is that, and I'll show you before I dump it in. Heinz chili sauce. Regular old Heinz chili sauce. And I dump that in there with my, with my meatballs. I get that all dumped in that bag. Put the lid back on it so I don't make a mess in the truck. Then I got regular old Welch's Concord Grape Jelly. Now you take about half of that. You put a, that full bottle of uh, 12 ounces of that Heinz Chili Sauce in there. If it'll adjust in where you can read it, I don't think you can see the ounces but I'm telling you it's 12 ounces this here Concord grape it's 20 ounce bottle and I'll put probably oh just about to the bottom of that purple there maybe where it says Welch's cuz depending on how sweet you want your how sweet you want your meatballs so you take this jelly just squirt it into the bag just like you, you know, I'm using a Ziploc bag to mix this stuff up in. Okay, I put uh, that much, about like I said, down to the Welch's word. But I think I'm going to put a little bit more. I like them a little bit sweet. Now, I know you're thinking, wow, that sounds disgusting. But until you try this, this is a been this has been a recipe for years. And easy mixing here. I put this in a Ziploc bag, just like that. And then I just kind of mix it around with my hands on the bag, just like that. Get it all mixed up. No doing no dishes. Nothing like that. Get it all mixed up in there. There it is. It's ready to put in the crock pot. So I'll get the crock pot up here. I'll get this put in. And I'll cook this for a couple hours going down the road. When I get ready to pull it out, I'll show you what I'm going to do with it. I'm going to take me some, uh, I got some leftover hot dog buns. We had a chili supper the other day. We had hot dogs and, and uh, chili. And uh, I got some buns left over, so I'm going to use up some of them buns. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make me some meatball hoagies. But it's not going to be hoagie buns; it's going to be hot dog buns. So that's going to be my that's going to be my lunch for today. When I get to Lebanon, Tennessee, I get dropped. I'm going to pull over somewhere, and I'm going to have me some meatball subs. Thank you very much for watching. I'll get back with you when I get to Lebanon. So for right now, I'll shut this off. I get to Lebanon, Tennessee and get dropped. I'll find me a place to park. I'll show you what it looks like. God bless. Have a great one. Bye-bye. Okay, here we go. Here's the finished product. What we got here is I got some Mexican taco cheese, which is uh, finely shredded cheddar and Asiago cheeses with taco seasonings in it. That is good stuff. 
And what I do is I start off by putting some of that right down here in my bun. Now I didn't tell you guys a while ago, I forgot to because I forgot I had it. I had an onion left over. So when I put that all together in there, I put an onion in there too. So that onion is uh, in there and it's all cooked up. Now here's that meatballs. Remember I told you it looked kind of gross when you first started putting it together? Look at that meatballs. That just turns into a nice little sauce for them meatballs. So here we go. Get me some onions out of here. Onions are all cooked up nicely. Look at that. Ain't that good? Come on, do the taste test now here. Get that all squished in there. I don't make a mess in the truck. Oh my God. Wow. Man, that's some good cooking for driving down the road. Having a good meal. There's no sense in not having a good meal if you're a truck driver. You don't have to go in there and pay all that money. All you have to do is take a little time to cook it yourself. Pull over, take your half hour break. Got something good to eat. So all I have in there is that chili sauce, that Heinz chili sauce. Grape jelly, that's what made my sauce put some onions in there and Italian meatballs and that's really good meal a good lunch for uh, driving down the road not wanting to stop kill a bunch of time in a truck stop just pulling a rest area when you're done delivering or at your delivery if you got plenty of time God bless hope this helped out have a great day